Six Sigma certification is a globally recognized qualification that signifies expertise in process improvement and quality management. Developed in the 1980s by Motorola, Six Sigma has since gained prominence across industries for its systematic approach to eliminating defects and improving overall organization performance. This certification provides professionals with the necessary tools and methodologies to analyze data, identify inefficiencies, and implement strategic solutions. Moreover, the benefits of obtaining a Six Sigma Black Belt certification extend beyond professional growth. The average Six Sigma Black Belt salary in the United States is $130,000, making it an attractive career path for individuals seeking financial rewards. Are you curious about the salary of a Six Sigma professional? Well, if you are already here at Simply Learn, let's hear directly from these professionals on how they have successfully achieved impressive salaries in the field of Six Sigma. As a working professional, it's crucial to stay competitive in today's fast-paced business environment. That is exactly what I did, and I even got a 21% increment in my stipend as a researcher. In between my undergraduate degree and my master's, I took training in the Lean Six Sigma Expert Master's program from Simply Learn and became a green belt. The projects were challenging, but gave us the freedom to apply what we learned in a logical manner. Since completing the program, I have been able to take on newer projects with much more confidence and perform way better than before. Upskilling is no longer a luxury, but a necessity. So in this video, we will be covering what is Six Sigma certification, levels of Six Sigma, which Six Sigma belt or level you should choose, and how Six Sigma training can advance your career. So these are the things that we will be covering. We will also discuss levels of Six Sigma in detail. Now before moving forward, let me ask you a quick question. So what is the primary goal of a Six Sigma? To reduce defects and variations in process. B. To maximize profits for organization. C. To implement agile management practices or option D. To improve employee satisfaction. Now you can pause this video and answer in the comment section below. Now let's start with the first topic which is what is Six Sigma certification. Six Sigma certification is a program that helps individuals learn a set of problem solving skills and techniques to improve processes in a company or organization. It is named Six Sigma because it aims to achieve a very high level of quality by reducing defects or errors to just a few per million opportunities. The certification program teaches people how to identify and measure problems in a process, analyze data to find the root cause of for those problems and come up with effective solutions. It provides a structured approach to problem solving and emphasizes the use of data and statistics to make informed decisions. By obtaining a Six Sigma certification, individuals demonstrate their ability to lead improvement projects and apply the methodologies of Six Sigma to drive positive changes in their workplace. This certification is highly regarded in many industries as it shows a person's expertise in process improvement and their commitment to quality and efficiency. To attain a Six Sigma certification, individuals must go through a structured progression. Now, so let's discuss these levels of Six Sigma. So, levels of Six Sigma. Each level represents a varying degree of expertise and responsibilities in implementing Six Sigma methodologies. Here are the levels of Six Sigma. So, as you can see, we have five belts, but actually we have six belts. That is white belt, yellow belt, green belt, black belt, master black belt, and champion executive leadership belt. So let's understand each one of these belts. We'll start with the white belt. At the white belt level, individuals are introduced to the basic concepts and language of Six Sigma. They gain a foundational understanding of the methodology and how it can be applied to improve processes. White belt often supports projects by providing assistance with data collection, participating in team discussions, and helping implement small processes improvements. The goal of a white belt is to understand the fundamental concepts of Six Sigma. Next we have is Yellow Belt. Yellow Belt receive more comprehensive training in Six Sigma tools and techniques. They have a deeper understanding of data analysis, process mapping and problem solving methodologies. Yellow Belts typically work alongside Green Belts and support them in their improvement projects. They assist with data gathering, analysis and contribute to small scale processes improvements within their areas of responsibility. Next we have is Green Belt. Green belts undergo more extensive training and are capable of leading smaller scale improvement projects within their organizations. They possess a solid understanding of statistical analysis, process optimization, and project management. Green belts work closely with black belts, collect and analyze data to identify areas for improvement, and contribute to the implementation of solutions. 
They may also lead teams and coordinate improvement initiatives. Then there is black belt. Black belts are highly skilled professionals who have undergone rigorous training in Six Sigma methodologies and statistical analysis. They are capable of leading and managing larger improvement projects within their organizations. Black belts apply advanced statistical techniques to identify root cause of problems, develop and implement solutions, and monitor project progress. They often mentor green belts, provide guidance and support, and help drive significant improvements in process and quality. Next we have is Master Black Belt. So the master black belts are the experts in Six Sigma methodologies. They have extensive experience and knowledge of statistical analysis, project management and leadership. Master black belts provide strategic guidance and direction for Six Sigma initiatives across organizations. They train and mentor black belts, ensuring the consistent application of Six Sigma principles. Master black belts also oversee multiple projects, identify improvements opportunities and drive organizational transformation. All right. Now we have is Champion Executive Leadership Belt Certification. So champions are senior executives or managers who play a crucial role in promoting and supporting Six Sigma initiatives within their organizations. They provide the necessary resources, support and leadership to ensure the success of Six Sigma projects. Champions align Six Sigma efforts with the overall strategic goals of the organization, foster a culture of continuous improvement and facilitate the implementation of Six Sigma methodologies through various departments and teams. So are you eager to pursue a career in quality management? Look no further. Our postgraduate program in Lean Six Sigma is perfect for aspiring quality management professionals. Gain expertise in continuous improvement and agile management practices through comprehensive training. Delve into Six Sigma frameworks and explore real world applications with Harvard Business Publishing case studies and KPMG's capstone projects. Don't miss this opportunity to master lean methodologies and propel your career forward. Enroll today and unleash your potential. So these were different levels of Six Sigma certifications. Now let's understand which Six Sigma belt or level should you choose. First is White Belt Certification. White Belt Certification is suitable for anyone who wants to gain general awareness of Six Sigma and how can it drive process improvements. It provides a solid foundation for individuals to explore further certifications or decide if they want to pursue a more in-depth understanding of Six Sigma. It is important to note that the White Belt Certification does not equip individuals with the same level of knowledge and skills as the higher certifications like Yellow Belt, Green or Black Belt. It serves as a starting point and can be a stepping stone for those who wish to progress further in Six Sigma journey. So this was about White Belt. Now let's understand who should choose Yellow Belt. So the Yellow Belt Certification expands upon the foundational knowledge acquired through the White Belt Certification and encompasses a broader range of subject and tools. These include areas like process mapping, data collection, root cause analysis and control charts. Choosing to pursue a Yellow Belt Certification is an excellent option for individuals who desire greater involvement in improvement project whether as a team member or leaders or small scale initiatives. Additionally, obtaining a Yellow Belt Certification aids in the development of problem solving and communication skills, while also serving as a tangible evidence of one's dedication to maintaining high standards of the quality. Next is Green Belt Certification. The Green Belt Certification expands your knowledge of Lean Six Sigma and empowers you to utilize a comprehensive set of tools and techniques for in-create and cross-function projects. Opting for a Green Belt Certification is suitable for individuals aspiring to lead or facilitate improvement initiatives. Additionally, achieving this certification can enhance your professional opportunities and establish your reputation as a proficient expert in process improvement methodologies. Now let's understand who should choose Black Belt Certification. Typically, the attainment of Black Belt Certification requires a training period spanning 4-6 to six weeks alongside the completion of a substantial project or examination. The acquisition of a Black Belt equips you with the comprehensive expertise in proficiency to oversee numerous improvement projects, execute strategic initiatives and foster transformative charge within an organization. Pursuing a Black Belt Certification is particularly suitable for individuals aspiring to assume leadership or managerial positions in the realm of process improvement, either within their current organization or as an independent consultant. This certification also serves as a catalyst for enhancing analytical, statistical and project management skills while concurrently augmenting your potential for higher earnings. Next we have is Master Belt Certification or Master Black Belt Certification. This prestigious certification is not widely available and typically requires a substantial number of years of practical experience. 
accompanied by noteworthy portfolio of achievements. A master black belt certification is well suited for individuals aspiring to become senior leaders or subject matter experts in the field of process improvement. Whether within their current organization or as a trainer or coach, this certification empowers you to drive significant transformations and optimize operational efficiency. By obtaining a master belt certification, you unlock new opportunities and challenges that can propel your career to new heights. Then we have is champion belt certification. Senior executives and high level managers who are responsible for overseeing multiple improvement projects can benefit from the champion belt certification. It equips them with the knowledge and skills necessary to champion process improvement efforts at a strategic level, align improvement initiatives with business objectives and provide guidance and support to project teams. The champion belt certification is designed for individuals who want to excel in leading and supporting process improvement efforts at a strategic level. Now let's understand how Six Sigma certification can advance your career. First is advancement within the organization. Many companies prioritize providing Six Sigma training to their employees. By obtaining Six Sigma certification, you gain a competitive advantage for career progression within your organization. Having a deep understanding of the company's internal culture and operations combined with Six Sigma knowledge positions you favorably for promotion opportunities. Next is overcoming barriers to achievement. Unlike other certifications that have strict prerequisites, Six Sigma certification does not have universal requirements. This means there are no significant barriers preventing you from becoming a Six Sigma certified, allowing you to pursue this training and certification to advance your career. Then third is enhanced visibility and knowledge. Six Sigma projects require employees to analyze and improve the entire organization, not just specific departments or operations. Engaging in Six Sigma training not only expands your knowledge about different facets of the business, but also increases your visibility among senior level executives. So this was about Six Sigma certifications, which Six Sigma belt or level should you choose and much more. Alright guys, with that we have come to the end of this video now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it really helped you all. Thanks for watching, stay safe and keep learning. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.